Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. So today I wanted to talk about something that's not talked about a whole lot in the world of survival, bushcraft, and the outdoors. And that's um, how you can make soap or use some form of soap in the wild. Now there's a list of plants right here that all contain saponins. Saponins are a, a soap-like compound. They're antibacterial and they're antifungal. Now those don't grow anywhere near where I live currently. However, this does, and this is called yucca. <clears throat> there are over 40 different species of yucca, and um, they're actually an extremely useful plant. You can make cordage out of these, you can eat the roots as a tuber, <clears throat> you can weave baskets out of the uh, leaves, and in other species of yucca, the tips of the leaves actually have a needle-like protrusion on them, and if you break those needles off, fibers will come with it, and you can use it like an um, improvised sewing thread. It's a really cool plant, and it's really good to know about. This plant primarily grows in the southwestern and western United States. You can find it in the eastern United States because uh, a couple of different species of it were introduced out here. And you will find it um, mostly around old home sites and occasionally, very rarely occasionally, around uh, growing in the wild. But that's not that often. This plant's extremely easy to identify. It's basically a giant succulent. So. The leaves are usually a dark green. Um, they can be really thick and fleshy, like a succulent leaf. The, uh, there is a small bulb that sits just above the ground of all the rosette leaves that come out. And if you look at it from the top, it looks almost like a rosette of leaves. They go out in all directions. They're straight. They can be wide or narrow, but are, the common denominator there is that they're straight. And during flowering season, they can have a stalk that protrudes from them that can be five to eight feet tall and has a gorgeous display of white flowers. And the stalk can actually be used in a hand drill um, fire starting apparatus. Really useful plant, but what we're going to talk about today is how to use it for soap. So all you really need is you can pull one leaf off the plant and that's all you need to wash your hands once or twice. Now if you wanted to, you can take the whole plant and the, uh, the bulb and the root contain the most saponins. <clears throat> but if you didn't want to kill the plant, you could just pull the leaf off. So we're going to cut a leaf off. Not even a whole leaf, just a piece of leaf. So once you've got your leaf, the simplest and best thing you can do is take yourself a flat rock and another rock. And what you're going to do is you're just going to beat the heck out of the leaf. So now what you're left with is this. So now what we'll do is we'll just shred this up. Just a little bit, exposed fibers. And then we're going to get it wet. We're just going to use it just like a normal soap bar. And what you can do is use the wad just like you would, just like you would, uh, um, or a uh, grit. Yeah, like a, a sandstone. So, if you look real closely, you can see how when I squeeze it, it froths out. It gets real bubbly. And use this to wash your pans, pots, your hands, whatever you, that needs washing. This stuff is really effective. I almost feel like it works better than regular soap. And then, when you're done, you can just toss it in the woods or save it for the fibers. Then wash the green stuff, the saponins off your hands. And it's sparkling clean. So with that said, this is really easy, it's really simple. These little yucca leaves, they're really useful. And uh, if you happen to have them around, you can use these as an alternative to soap. You can use them to make cordage, you can <clears throat> use them to weave baskets, you can use them where you can use the roots as a food source. So with that said, guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. If you haven't already, hit the bell ding link icon down below. You'll get notified every time I upload a new video. But with that said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week.